I understand there is a youth representative here on the first bench, and I'm sorry I can't give you more than a few minutes, but, but please, since you represent the future generation, at least in this room, uh, can, you, can you give us a... You can come up here. Please present yourself and be quick. Hi, my name is Will Sharuis. Um, I'm 16 years old and from Miami, Florida. I founded a youth organization called We Are Forces of Nature to help halt and slow down climate change. I grew up in Miami, Florida, and I've had the absolute gift to spend a lot of my free time outside on the ocean. My home, which sits at ground zero sea level, will be uninhabitable due to sea level rise caused by global warming. Back in 2017, Hurricane Irma really affected my community firsthand. I mean, the entire city of Miami was virtually underwater. There was even a boat that washed over my school's football field. And with that, I felt a personal need to act. And I felt that it was almost a moral responsibility of mine to take this into my own hands and do what I could do to help stop this issue. So after the hurricane, I founded a nonprofit organization called We Are Force of Nature. My goal was simple, to halt climate change and help protect my community. So most people know mangroves as doing two main things. Number one is preventing beach erosion, and number two is just serving as a marine habitat. But what a lot of people don't realize is mangroves actually sequester carbon at a rate much faster than traditional forests or evergreen trees. Scientists predict that even if we were to stop emitting greenhouse gases, we'd have to take a billion tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere every year to maintain a habitable planet. But with mangroves being really efficient, I see that as nature's number one way to help this issue. So far, Forces of Nature has replenished six miles of mangrove coastline, and we've replanted 1,149 mangroves. The A Million Mangroves Initiative is a really inclusive, easy, and imperative solution. Youth can start out by just getting a group of friends together, going to the mangroves and cleaning up trash. Also, for the plantings, it's pretty straightforward. You just collect the prompt that you use wash up on the beach, water them, and then eventually replant them in the place you found them. This initiative can be broken down into four main parts, the cleanups, the replantings, the education, and the research. For the cleanups and the replantings, they're pretty straightforward. Every weekend, I get a group of friends, and we go out into the mangrove forest by my home, and we clean up and we just replant mangroves in the areas where mangroves once lived. Then for the education, I travel around, whether it's to different schools in my community, or to different events globally and speak on the benefits of planting mangroves. Lastly, the research part. I try and research and find ways mangroves are gonna be able to be replanted in the future to better withstand the warming oceans. At the Amelia Mangroves Lab, I'm pioneering mangroves to better withstand the warming oceans and ocean acidification. To do this, I've been exposing mangroves to higher concentrations of salt and temperatures, and growing them for longer growth periods. Fortunately, I'm able to say that my planting success rate exceeds the norm and is approximately 70%. To scale up the Amelia Mangroves Initiative, I've been able to share my solution at the United Nations headquarters in Bonn, Germany, Stockholm 50, and at the request of the US State Department with conservationists visiting from five continents. I've also been able to teach the younger generation how they can grow mangroves, whether it's on their windowsills or right in their backyards. If we can scale up this project, then we have a fighting chance to halt climate change. Youth don't really have the patience for all the bureaucracy that goes on. We sort of have an optimistic approach. We don't really see roadblocks hindering us to getting things done. We also recognize that if we don't act now, the changes that affect our planet are gonna be irreversible. Personally, I think that the power of one is really important. And that one person, and one action can make a difference. The hardest part is to take the first step. I'm really hopeful that if my initiative can at least empower another youth to act, then maybe that youth can empower one of their friends to act, and it can sort of snowball from there. And I, I just have hope that we really can't turn things around for our planet.